There's nothing they can do now. How would they even escape this? Wow, of course, man. Bro, I'm actually fed up with Disney now. Look, I'm showing you my screen right now. Look at my screen. Look who's laying in bed right there. Isn't that a spoiler? I thought he'd survive, but I don't want to be told that. I want to see that. It's actually so annoying. But yeah, look. Hey, welcome back. I'm sure we'll find out very soon anyway that he... Maybe a little flashback. Yeah, we're going to get a flashback first, but I... It'll be soon in the episode when we find out. We had a fight this morning. It got ugly. Hurtful. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, hon. So this is a flashback about their marriage. I guess if we're being honest, he wasn't the asshole. You still love Rick? I've been asking myself that a lot, and... Oh, come on. And I, I think the answer is yes. It's just, I'm trying to remember how that works. It's yeah. So this is before he was put... In a coma, yes. We're confirming that. Or is this... This is after he's been shot. Is he alive? He's in surgery. Whoa. Oh, I screwed up. I just had, I did not see him in time, Lord. It's my fault. Wow, Shane. It's not your fault. I don't, I don't believe that. What do I say? You don't. You know what time I said his father's been shot? You don't have to do it alone. Surely just not tell him until you have to. I really like him, I'm be fuming if he goes. By the way, some of the scenes confirming my theory, just so you know. Here we go. So let me just let me just get my head around that. So well, we've just found out she was falling out of love with him. And we kind of knew that because of the uh, the talk that Shane and Rick were having originally, but I, I'm I feel we're so close to finding out whether Shane and Laurie were a thing before the coma. Because if that's the case, like like I said, it changes my whole idea of it. Because I can somewhat understand it after the fact. If if it happened when he was in the coma, it's still bad. But if it's like since the apocalypse, that's when it kick started. Do you see where I'm coming from? Or what may have happened is I don't know. Maybe it was happening before the coma, then it stopped during the coma. Then when she thought he was uh, he was dead, they rekindled that again. Something like that. I just you know we're that close to finding out. And one of my favorite things actually about the show is that. Most of it's obviously in the present, and then we get these flashbacks with little tiny fragments which we've got to piece together. Just, oh, I'm so annoyed that we know that I know he survives now. Like, I just, I kind of predicted it anyway, but... Hey! Oh, so that's the guy that... shithead! Come on, get us there! Whoa! How far? How far? How far? That way! I heard so... To be, I feel bad for him because he literally just shot the deer and it went through to the kid, which is just such a coincidence. But let's go, come on! Yeah, I'm, I'm convinced that the little girl's here. By the way, just so you know. Oh, that reminds me. I had a small theory that the little girl was lured. Like, why would she go off track? And keep thinking, why would you go off track? Why would you go off track? What if it's got something to do with Merle? Because I was thinking, like, would she just go off with some random person? I don't think so. But what if it was Merle? You know, where she where I'm coming from? Imagine. Dad! She's got more people. Bro, imagine what his wife's gonna f think when she finds out that he's literally... Well, he's passed out completely. Look how much blood there is. You know, so they're on a farm. That's quite, you know, that's quite remote. Not much protection, though. Shot by your man. Otis! He said five Herschel. Is that you? Help me, help me, Come on. Yes! I'm so happy that they're helping straight away. Painkillers, coagulants, grab everything. Clean towels, sheets. Oh, I like this guy already. Goosebumps. I've got a heartbeat. Weak one. I got it. Step back. Come on. Rick, we're going to do everything we can, okay? You need to give us some room. Come on, Rick. Space. Now. Go to Shane. But look at all the supplies they've got. That's mental. And they're using that on a stranger as well. Good people, man. He's alive. He's still alive. Look at the blood. He's got blood. Imagine that. 
You know his blood type? A positive. Same as mine. That's fortunate. Don't wander far. I'm going to need you. What happened? He eats his blood. I was tracking a buck. Yeah, it was a gunshot. We all heard it. Wow. Why one? Why just one gunshot? Maybe they took down a walker. Please don't patronize me. You know Rick wouldn't risk a gunshot to put down one walker. Or Shane. Exactly. They do it quietly. I'm sure they'll hook up with us back at the RV. What, what, what on earth does this show have with the kids, man? One goes missing, chased by walkers, the other one's shot. Dude, what the hell? It's a waste of time, all this hoping and praying. Let's go. She's gonna locate that little girl. She's gonna be just fine. Yeah! Is anyone zen around here? Come on, Daryl. Lord. <sighs> Leaders, man. I love it when you see, like, glimpse of leadership in people. And you know, you can just tell who's gonna be the one to take control. Do you know I asked you how you were feeling just now. Please don't blow that question off. Yeah. Well, it really hurts. <laughs> don't, don't touch it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Listen, your veins are very discolored. You got a hell of an infection there. Yeah. You could die from blood poisoning. <laughs> You have to chop his bloody arm off. I can't believe that we have not found some ampicillin or, or, or something in the in the whole place. Can you? Seems like there would be. Exactly, because someone's already no, searched that's what it. I think. Cigarettes? <laughs> I should have seen him with Lori. It's not your fault, Rick. Can you start that? You said call it, head back. what I said. Call got shot because I wouldn't cut baby. It should be me in there. Yeah. Is that why I got out of that hospital? Found my family for it to end here like this. It's some kind of sick joke. Shh, 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 shh. Stop it. Just stop. Come on, Shane, bro. He needs to stay. <laughs> you, hold him down. Hold him, come on. <laughs> They don't have anything to put him to sleep. Imagine that. Stop! You're killing him! Rick! Do you want him to live? He needs to Do it now! Wait. So he just passed out. He just passed out. One down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Five to go, man. Five to go. The thing is, is the zombies aren't even that bad. Like, I, I speak about this repetitive, repetitively. Like, this show for me is so about so much more than that. It's not necessarily about the zombies and what they're doing and being scared of the zombies and hiding from them and, and not being eaten. It's more about all the other things that you have to go through. Just little details, you know, like having to undergo surgery without being put to sleep. Stuff like that. And as a child as well, and having to watch your kid go through that. These are just things that would happen. And certain things wouldn't be able to be treated. Do you see where I'm coming from? Th certain things wouldn't be, he be able to be healed. We've got to be even more careful. We can't just be as reckless. That's probably where Shane's mindset comes from, you know? You can't be as reckless in this kind of scenario. Lordy needs to be here. She doesn't even know what's going on. I gotta, I gotta go Rick, find the girl calm back. down. You can't do that. Lori has to be here, Shane. She has to know. Okay. I get that. I'm gonna handle it. Wow. But you gotta handle your end. Come on, Shane. My, my end. Your end is being here. Emotionally. For your son. There's no way I'd ever let you walk out that door, man. I, I break your legs if you try. I mean, you know that, right? Come on, Shane, man. You're right. You're right wrong. <laughs> She did not want to leave. The strength of that woman. And you can't imagine it. That's what you gotta have now. I mean, Carl, he needs that from you. You got the hard part. You just. If they ever separate these two in the show, I'm gonna throw my computer. The thing is, is. 
Rick is the good bits that Shane needs, and Shane are the good bits, is the good bits that Rick needs to be the best, you know, the best they can be as leaders. He's out of danger for the moment, but I need to remove those remaining fragments. How? You saw how he was? I know, and that was the shallowest one. I need to go deeper to get the others. Yeah. His belly's distended, his pressure's dropping, which means there's internal bleeding. A fragment must have nicked one of the blood vessels. Wow, what does that mean? I have to open him up, find the bleeder, and stitch it. And he can't move while I'm in there, I mean at all. He can't even if be If he awake. reacts the same as before, I'll sever an artery and he'll be dead minutes. I have to put him under. Exactly. But if I do, he won't be able to breathe on his own. What'll it take? You need a respirator. What else? Hospital, to go. Tube with it. A high school. That's what I was thinking. They set up a FEMA shelter. The high there. school? They would have everything we need. So they're going to a school to like a med bay or something? I said leave the rest to me. It's too late to take that back. I hate <laughs> going alone. Come on. I'll take you there. But five miles. Oh, just no. Honey, we don't have time for guesswork, and I'm responsible. I ain't gonna sit here while this fella takes us on alone. Get in. I should thank you. Yes. Wait till that boy of yours is up and around. Then we'll talk. Where Bro, what? A, oh my god, Why? I did not expect this. Oh. Jesus Christ, I'm drained from this already. <laughs> off in the woods. Daddy's looking for that poor girl and we're here. Yeah, it's crazy. Everyone's Why? split up. And they're gonna start doubting the leadership. Because they think we're the weakest. Really? No, you only got left behind because you were injured. Well, you upset me. But I'm the one black guy. Realize how precarious that makes my situation. Wow. What the hell are you talking about? It's not anything to do with that. You can't be serious. Am I? Hey, am I missing something? Damn, man! Open your eyes! He's just not thinking Open straight, man. He's not Stop thinking this straight. Mess is. Let's just go. Let's just take the off. You've gone off the deep end. I mean it, man. Why we why we on the side of this road like live bait? It's temperature. Oh my God, you're burning up! Where the hell are they? I just mean, when do they just happen to come across the girl, eh? That's crazy, if at all. As the crow flies my ass. <gasps> Andrea! Why was she so far away from them? The heck? Wait, is that the... Oh, that's her. Rick sent me, you gotta come now. What? Oh. There's been an accident, Carl's been shot. He's still alive, but you gotta come now. Oh, oh my we don't know this girl. God. You can't get on that horse. Rick said you She's had just others gonna on do the it. highway. That big traffic star? Uh -huh. Backtrack to Fairburn Road, two miles down is our farm. You'll see the mailbox, name's Green. Hey, come on, directions, yes. Okay, so they're no longer... <sighs> Why did I get excited about that? They're no longer bloody trapped on the highway. They can go backwards. Well, if they're still there. And then... I like Daryl now, man. I like Daryl. Shot? What do you mean, shot? I don't know, Dale. I was in there. All I know now is this chick running out of nowhere like Zora on a horse and took glory. This place is beautiful. So that's crazy now when you think about it, right? I swear to God, if they end up having to leave this farm, I'm going to be fuming because that means Shane and this other guy, middle of nowhere. Goodness knows whether they're even going to succeed. Um, but that's, that's now we're all split into groups of three, technically four if you count the little girl, wherever she is. That's crazy. All we got left is each other. Just hoping we can ride it out in peace till there's a cure. Well, that's not going to last, unfortunately. We were at the CDC. You watch Merle turn up or you watch someone turn up and attract a horde and it just becomes an absolute nightmare. This place is not going to be staying for very long, man. Is she going to blame Rick? Oh, I'm not prepared for this. I hope she bloody doesn't, man.
That's the other thing as well. Imagine there's a horde and he's still like this. Oh my god. Look how vulnerable their position is right now. How much, blood, how much blood have they taken from Rip, man? Oh, Maybe wanted to do the same for you when you were in the hospital. I had to talk him out of it. Oh. I mean, you've done this procedure before. Well, yes, in a sense. In a, in a sense? sense? Honey, we don't have the luxury of shopping for a surgeon. I, no, I understand that, but I mean, you're a doctor, right? Yes, ma'am. Of course. A vet. A veteran, a combat medic. Wow, no. A veterinarian. Animal do uh, Oh gosh, imagine the anxiety you must feel after that. You've done this on animals. surgery before on what? Cows? Bro, imagine the anxiety. Jesus Christ, would you, you, this, you don't have a luxury, like Rick said. Completely over your head. Ma'am. We're all in our head. we all? Yeah, see? Oh, shit. Yeah, nah. What if she comes back and we're not here? Could happen. If Sophia found her way back and we were gone, that would be awful. That's fair point. Okay. If the RV is staying, I am too. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, bud. So he's going to stay even longer. I'm in. Well, if you're all staying, then I'm... No, not you, Glenn. You're going. Take, take Carol's Cherokee. Me? Why is it always me? You have to find this farm, reconnect with our people, and see what's going on. But Why most importantly, you have to get T Dog there. He has a very serious blood infection. Get him to that farm. Why'd you wait till now to say anything? I'm my brother's stash. Crystal? Oxycycline. Not the generic stuff, neither. It's first class. Merle got to clap on occasion. Merle's stash. <laughs> Raxing Mill stash, bro. That's took taking that, that long for them to just figure that out. Yeah. How much of a window do they actually have? Don't fall over or make some kind of clutter. Pressure's dropping again. We can't wait much longer. Take some more. Whatever he needs, then I'm gonna go. Go. Go where? said five miles. They should be long back by now. Something's gone wrong. Are you insane? You're not going anywhere. You can't go. Rick, listen to your wife. They got into trouble. You're in no condition to do anything about it. You've given too much blood. You're barely on your feet. If Shane said he'll be back, he'll be back. Exactly. Be back. I can't just sit here. That's exactly what you do. If you need to pray or cry or tell God he's cruel, you go right ahead. But you won't leave him. Rick. Carl. Come on, Lori. Here. Yes, man. Lead her again. Oh, every single time she stands up, I've got goosebumps. Bro, there, imagine they open the door and we're just there like... Yeah, like that. Run for your life! Come on, big guys, go. Is there nothing that they can throw? <laughs> Shoot! Oh my god, man, now they're trapped in a bloody building. You know what, maybe I haven't seen a spoiler there. There's nothing they can do now. How would they even escape this? Every second counts as well. You know what? Maybe I'm not so mad at Disney because the fact that they he was in a bed did kind of ruin it for me because it, it screamed to me that they found people. So that was a mini spoiler as well, which I kind of didn't mention. But the biggest spoiler is like, I thought at least, was that uh, he survives. But... Maybe it wasn't a spoiler. So, okay, I don't feel particularly annoyed anymore. A little bit because it's still like, dude, you spoiled the fact that he got to a bed in the first place. But, yeah, anyway. So, what's happened in this chaotic episode? Everyone split up, as I think is the most, because it's a crucial aspect, isn't it? Everyone split up. It looks to me like there's a couple people staying on the highway waiting for the little girl in case she comes back. Then there's a couple people going to the farm to take 
T-Dog, whatever his name is, to get that blood infection checked out. What are the odds that he needed something that they, from the, the medical place that they went to? What are the odds? Anyway, look, they I think, going to go to that farm. Two patients at once, is that even, like, going to be possible? Is it going to be one dial or the other sort of thing? What happens if it's something to do with, like, they need two respirators, they've only got one or something? I don't know. I imagine there's drama coming, and I imagine it's not going to be straightforward. I mean, obviously, beyond that, we see cont a continual decline, actually. Continuous decline for Rick, which is another big point, uh, because he feels the burden of his decisions that he's making the fact that his, I think this is the third decision now or the third thing that has gone severely south that he's had to decide so imagine how that imagine what that does to your confidence imagine what that does to your faith but because of that we're getting to see the leadership and the strength shine through of Shane and Laurie which I think Rick currently lacks a bit of like I don't think he's as strong he's capable of being it he has been before but I think because of what he's gone through and the fact that he is the most he's always the newest person into this apocalypse he knows the least he's experienced the least he hasn't felt it like they have like Shane and Laurie both felt it with Rick they felt the the feeling of hope, helplessness Shane has felt the feeling of feeling like he's like you know he blames himself he's been through it he's strong he knows what it takes and he's there for Rick and that's my favorite part I think you see that there and they're building that up that you know, they're there for each other kind of thing. I mean, same with Laurie. She's like looking at Rick. She's going, sort your shit out. You are here now. This is not your fault. But what you can do now is vital. So be here. Ground yourself. And it's not just those three as well. Like we see it with every character throughout the group. And it's I think we will continue as the series goes on. See each character get their own development. Which I just love, man. It's not just like we're focusing on one character. I mean, like, oh, this character's going to develop so much. With every single character has their own arc. What we see next is is more split because they need more medical supplies, obviously, because he's a vet. He doesn't actually just have all this stuff. So Shane and I think, what was his name? I've forgotten his name. Went to the, this place and they've been ambushed by zombies, which we knew was a possibility. They've got the supplies, but they're now trapped. Uh, and do we end up needing to send a rescue team? Do they get away somehow? What? We're on the clock, remember? Blood pressure is dropping. We don't have the supplies that we need. We need them now. I reckon Laurie will go and maybe one other person will go to help them because they're I don't even know if they've got a way out really realistically do they no especially now that the zombies have their scent and they're on to them you know just a simple distraction may not work anymore that's the the aim of the next episode obviously is getting the supplies helping Shane um, and this other guy and and getting everyone back it just feels unstable I, I say this in every reaction actually at the start we had a bit of feeling separated and we felt all together and we felt a little bit of like cohesiveness and we're stronger together unity then it sort of split a little bit with the issue of Merle and going to look for him and then it split again and it split again and it's now at the point where everyone's separated people are doubting leadership people are doubting their positions in the group people are doubting that they belong people are thinking about leaving people are injured people need serious medical help it's the most fragile I think we've been since the start of the season this fight Farm is a cool remote place but it's not got any protection if a horde happens to arrive on this farm when people are injured when people can't m leave what do we do that's the mad thing we're building up right now to a complicated decision but yeah what an episode I'm gonna say again season two so far for me as much as I don't feel comfortable I feel less comfortable this season which I think is the whole point I don't think we're gonna feel comfortable for a long time so far season two has been amazing just it's just set the tone you know in, in two episodes it's really set the tone and freaked me out anyway look I'm going to Paris tomorrow so there's a chance there's a little chance that there may be I may struggle to get a reaction out next Friday there's definitely one out today which is Friday there's definitely one out on on Tuesday next Friday is a question mark but I will let you know in the community tab anyway I'm gonna leave it there guys if you enjoyed as ever don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week and of course follow the Instagram Daniel Reba 2Ds yeah you guys know the drill as ever this has been your boy Dan thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one